Good evening everyone. It's a pleasant afternoon. Someone's burning off over here. Anyway, out in the distance, that's probably about a 15k over there. Um, but yeah, this is basically what June and I take care of. Um, this is where we work. Just sitting down here mar admiring the uh, sprinklers going around. I'll probably have to mold it in the next couple of days, but <laughs> that's part of it, you know. It looks nice and green. Wasn't three, four months ago. But anyway, I'm going to be um, pulling in that air conditioner apart. I thought I'd bring you along, show you basically what we take care of. It's a big area what we do do. What we, well, I should say, what we do take care of. Um, it goes down past all those buildings down there, down to a fence line. Um, and past all those ones way down yonder. You can probably only just see them in the video uh, And probably a bit and way further up like Karen way 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 up there So yeah, let's get up on up to the shed here. I'll turn the sprinkler on as I'm going up there Looking a bit dry here And uh, we'll get to start on to this air conditioner Started fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles. Right, that's the main unit for the air conditioner. I'm going to start on the head piece. Yeah, it's a very nice looking area from up here at the shed, looking down at the lake down there. It's a fairly big lake. So, anyway, plenty of time for the lake later. Let's get to and do this. I've got a container for screws, circuit boards wire down there uh, just mind the fan it's quite warm this afternoon I put all my screws in the bucket another one down there that should free that up hopefully I'll get that one down in there too. Get every screw I could possibly see. There you go here. It's got a copper core with aluminium. Oh, it's copper inside, but with encased with an aluminium coating. I don't know what you'd call that, but yeah. Aluminium core. That'd be the go. That's probably what it is. I don't know much about ready um not radiators, air conditioning as much. Um, this is part of just dismantling. I've got a bin beside me for all the plastic. That hasn't got a stainless steel centre. That can go in there. There's a motor on that. When I get it, it's the end of the line for it. So it doesn't matter if I break it whatever should just come off that it's only just pushed on oh we'll get down to this other end up here get it all apart I suppose that what's stopping what here here we go get that out of there yeah I don't worry how it comes apart as long as it comes apart on me oh let me check a bit oh, come on Stretch its friendship. Oh, that come out of here. That's even better still. That's only plastic. Got a big motor there. Yeah, 
Yeah, when you just stripping it out for what you want out of it, like copper wire and motors and that sort of thing, doesn't matter how you take it apart. You're not going to put it back together. Oh, that's why that won't come through, because it's about there. I've got to get me, me trigger trigger. Oh, the old mobility scooter, she don't work no more. The um, circuit board's shorted out, so I found out. She's all buggered. Motor don't go, nothing like that. Now, what was I doing? That there. That'll go into alloy. That's just plastic. Now, try and leave that all intact. There we go, they've got copper ends on them. So, I haven't got a bin for me copper, so I'll just chop them off. Got a whole stack of copper in the shed. That's stone of steel in there, just lay them down up at there. Motor can be dismantled later. Chop that off, put him down there. Right, now get into this box. Pandora's box, what's it gonna give me? No, oh, yeah, there's a screw holding it. Silly me, eh? Should put my glasses on so I can see. There we go. Pays to do the right thing. I can't afford to be putting screws and things on the ground. She's a dirt ground. We drive on this. On this dirt. So I'm using the top of a fridge that I've already stripped out. Can leave that on that, I suppose. Get that board out of there. All that wiring. Wow. And the screw there, I know. Like this will probably be the only one I'll do. Do it all strip out. Chop those wires, put that down in the circuit boards. Right, chopping those wires off. They go straight in the bucket. I'll have to sort my bucket of wires out too, because you do get aluminium wire in amongst a lot of this stuff too, so you can't mix it with that copper, which is only natural. But you're not going nowhere. piece of wire in that. Right, still got a little bit to go on to that. Sort that out in a minute. Put on there. Alright, now I'm going to try and get that piece of that over there for now. Piece of sheet metal off there so I can put it in here. Put it in the fridge. Uh, that's got to be unscrewed. Pull the screws out. Yep. Yippity doo da. Yippity doo. Just fold it out. I don't like sending plastic into the scrap metal dealer. And it's as easy as that. So now, move all my bits and pieces. I shouldn't have put that there. I'll put them down here. I'll bet still put them in my pocket. It's a wire, plastic. Bit unorganised here. And go in there. I'll fill fridges up. 
class as non-ferrous metals. So I've got to take it two and a half hours away from where we are here to put all this through. So I stack it in fridges, lay the fridges down, load the fridges on the front or over there, and uh, I go three high with them laying on their backs. Pull the motors out, of course, so they don't leak the oils. Pull the fluids out of them. All right. Get on to the rest of this electrics over here. Now, when I said I wasn't finished with the circuit board, I get to and get the copper out of them. The copper wire spools. One right there. I don't use pliers, I just pull it off with the screwdriver. There goes the ski boat. That's what we get coming through here. Ski boats. Alright, is that it? That looks like it. And that can go under there. It does degrade the circuit board, but you know, I'm trying to get the best money I can with circuit boards and uh, copper wire. That should just open up. Get that little circuit board out of there. Throw the plastic. wire off, leave that all intact, take them off there, that can go down into the circle board part, and the rest should be right, that's only a bit of plastic, put that into there, and I'll strip that out later. Alright, let's get back to that. There we go, that was simple. Ooh, look at that nice clean copper. I'll take that steel off there too. When you've got the aluminium fins on it, it downgrades the copper. You can't do much about that. Why aren't you coming off? Oh, because they've burned it. Oh, I don't want to cut myself. There we go. That's off. Take the wire off and that should be done except for that plastic end. This is where I usually stab myself, stab my hands. I've got that many sores on my hands now, it's unreal. <sighs> Can't see. Hang on everyone, where's my glasses? Here on my chest. There we go, I can see now. <laughs> God damn. Mine is about goddamn bat when it's this close. That's what age does to you, I suppose. There we go. Pays when you can see. Alright, cut that wire off. And that will be the head unit done. Pretty much. So it's got copper there. Couple all the way through there, take that off there. That goes that way. That's sticky stuff that. Here we go is second grade copper. Copper pipe. Or I'm hoping anyway. <sighs> now the scrap metal dealer there locally didn't want to take any more. I thought, well, you're a pain. I'm going to travel two and a half hours just to get rid of the stuff now. 
But anyway, they might pay better. That's all I'm thinking about. Especially when you get all of these. This is the biggest one I've got so far. Clean it up the best you can. So you can get the better money. Yes, it might have solder and all that sort of thing on there. But still, still goes through seconds. Alright. Just gonna get hammer. Hammer's retrieved and off and that is that done Ooh, that's falling apart now hey that that's damn good well that's a bit of steel there can't do much about that can't get that one off anyway we'll leave that as he is he's all done we'll get under the main unit now don't fall Right, what screws do I have to undo? One here. Take the outer shell off. Here I am where the movie started. Fizzing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. Save me, I don't know why the kids always crying. I've been thinking about all the captains, but we left in a wasted planet. I thought I had it all to better but I'm working upset. You don't need to show your fight it off anymore to them. Can you feel this spark in city light when it's day to night? That's the spark that's from my baby. Yep, yep. Geez, that's a nice big board, that one. Uh, side cutters. That's a big compressor, too. Got a lot of copper in that.
inspired by thirst I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst So you can just hide while I work I ain't tired you first I'm not just on mines And that goes down to Holy dooly Holy dooly That is a big one I like the look of that I do like the look of that thing Let me get that out of there Look at the copper in that. That is very thick stuff, that. Man, I'm gonna enjoy getting that out of there. Anyway, do this, 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 and that. That's heavy stuff, that. I'm gonna enjoy getting that out of there. Some decent heavy stuff. That'll go into there with the rest. Alright, we got another one there, another one there, another one there. A uh, little one there. I guess it degrades the, the board, but yeah, so we got one, two, three, four to take out. Another one there, another one there. Uh, yeah, there's a few in there. We'll take them out before we go any further. Now I can just put the board straight in there and not bust my fingers. Don't seem to worry about getting electric shocks or anything like that. Probably not the best way to get rid of them. Get them out of there, not get rid of them, get them out of there. Uh, but that's the way I'm doing it. That's the way I want to do it. It gets them out of there, that's the main thing. Flat later. Alright, where do I see this other one? There's another one there. Yep, another one there. Alright, you're not going to come. You didn't cut him out. Two legs, and it held in by four, four or five. He went over there. See, it's got all this little copper in there. That's not one, is it? No. Uh, that one's one. Electrics. 
chubby chubbies. There's one on the ground. That's another one. That'll go down there. That'll go into there. Right, I think we could get that circuit board out of there. Oh, there's a little one there. A tiny, weeny one. Right, smack bang. There, he's gone. Right there. Every little bit's gonna count. For me it is anyway. Chop that wire off. That wire there. Bring him round. Chop him off. Right, what do we gotta to use to get that out of there? I think it's just sitting there. Might be. Jeez, big aluminium heat sink in behind. Wow. Okay. Get all my screws up in a minute. Is that that? That is that part. For the moment. Here we go, it just pops out. There we go. There when you can take the sink, heat sink off it. And I'll leave that intact, like it is. Don't worry about that aluminium heat sink. Uh, don't know. He's screwed on. I might leave it there. Give him something. Got to give him something. But I'm taking this one. Oh, that's screwed there. So I've got to get all of this off first before I can go any further. Get all that. We are down to undoing that. Somehow. Get that bit of plastic off. Where is that screwed on? It is screwed on from that side. Right. That's all involved with that. On that. Oh yeah, we'll get the fan out. We'll come back to that. Because I've got to bleed the gas out. I'm not going to work that out how. I might just cut some pipes. I shouldn't, but I probably will. I'll keep it. glasses on. <laughs> Takes me a long time to find the screw. Ah well. Like I said, it's getting old. What have we got to do here? Oh, that was easy.
I think that's that. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Goddamn screws in there. I'd hate to be putting these things together. I wonder they cost so much. There's so many goddamn screws in them. <laughs> hey, we got the plastic free. Sora. There we go. That big heat sink. Oh yeah. Oh, that's got a couple of screws out there. Come on, out you come. Nothing's holding you. God damn, that's a big one. Huh, it all decided to come at once. That's a big chunk of aluminium, that. Undo that screw in the back. Where's that screw gun going? On the ground. Science lady put one of these together. Take that piece of sheet of plastic off. All right, we'll put that directly in scrap metal. That piece that is. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Wow. Got a bit of copper in there. Get rid of this. If we can, we'll get it out of there. I think all I have to do to bleed this out is undo one of those. Not sure which one. So I'll get a spanner and we'll get it undone. I think I've just done uh, undone them and I think it's already bled out which might be good for me that's brass that's brass that whole thing's brass but I'm going to take it apart from behind there to chop it off to get it out of all of this that's brass there too so yeah brass bits over here dropping them on the ground now Undo that screw there, should undo the core then. That was a shot and a half, got it in. Yeah, 
we're making progress big progress liking this um, there's a screw down there don't want that on the ground Get a knife and cut that. Mind the shed mess. Oop, that's not the knife. That's the knife. stuff Yeah. It just cleans it up and makes it easier. That's all. Get rid of all that tarry crap. It's just to stop the pipes from vibrating. That's all this stuff is. As far as I know, that's what I reckon. easy if you do it right don't mesh it smash it together make it sticky give it a slice and the dice don't matter if you bend your pipes Got someone coming in have we yep we have turn sprinklers off everyone looks like we want someone to someone wants to go skiing so we're gonna go turn sprinklers off yep oh, I'll be right back everyone oh dear I only had to turn one sprinkler off which was good One of the members for the place. Right, that's good. That's so I can do this. That's off. That should bring all wiring to a cease. I'll pluck that one out of there. That's all the wiring gone. That can go into there. I'll sort that out in a short willy while. Keep getting this other stuff off. Just reveals what you can get. It shows you how much you got. The scrap metal dealers don't like that crap, black shit. That's all it is, crap. Like it doesn't stick to my fingers, but it's real tarry sort of stuff. I don't know what you'd call it, but yuck. <laughs> I'll put it in the bin, in the plastic bin. That'll, that'll do for that. 
giving it up. But it's basically almost uh, 70 30 rubbish. So, yeah. Pluck that off there. And that's got copper inside that. Give that a smash. Right, we're pretty much close to finalising because your copper goes stops there on everything. Like these parts here are steel. They're not. Um, like I'll give you an example. We have a magnet. Magnet out of a microwave. I've got plenty of them. There's double one there. Okay. All right. Copper, copper. See how it's tacky? It's pulling off my finger. All right. You get halfway up there, and that's copper all the way to the to there. So you can chop that off basically there, uh, and that relieves all of that. And that's brass. We all know that's brass. Don't know what that is. That's steel there. So yeah. Basically, just keep tapping around. Oh, that's a steel piece there. That's alloy. Alloy all in there. Um, I reckon what they've done is they've put copper on the ends and I might go through later with a grinder and just zip that off so I can get me copper and take the metal off there. That'll be later on when I'm sorting through more of my copper, when I'm going to put it all through the scrap metal dealer. So let's just keep going and get this motor off. Oh, there's a bit more of that other stuff. Not the best thing to do with your magnet, Tim. Putting it on the ground, put it up there. You never put a magnet on the dirt. Just picks up all your little, all your little rocks that are magnetic iron. Brings it out nice and clean. I'll get a hacksaw and chop that off. There's another piece down there. Damn. Oh, I'm nice flexing too much. Heavy too. Got more people coming in. Damn. Oh, June's up at the gate, letting them in. Not much I can do about it. <laughs> She's letting them in. Yeah, so let's get the axe or and start chopping. Over here. Get a tech bit to undo that one to get that one. More crap there, copper there, copper there. That has to be taken off that brass piece. That's got to be taken off too. on that one hmm that's a bit awkward have to attack that one while when I get it out here we maintain a ski boat place here you know a boat club they call it get a lot of people coming through we caretake the place, caretake, manage it, and that sort of thing. That's what our job is. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that, that guy there, that's right. Right. I don't want to throw sparks, just in case there is gas. I don't know whether it's flammable or not. So, that's all to go. What's it hanging on to? Oh, down there. That is a big core. Massive core. It won't come apart. So, later on when I get down to processing it a little bit more, I'll um, chop these copper pieces off because it goes into aluminium in here. I've got a lot of them like this at the moment so I can make that as pure aluminium um, and get rid of the steel out of it too. I'm just gonna break that off there, make it better for storage. get that brass out of there too yet a bit of brass right and that is basically that everyone that is the air conditioner completely pulled apart except for the motor um, I've only got to take the blade off and take the wire out of it and put it in the bin and yeah we're pretty much done done and dusted the motor will go in the fridge in the scrap metal pile in the fridge there Cut this bit of brass off before I end her off. <sighs> That's that one.
Can we go through his dirty brass set? It's got still a copper on it and a bit of metal. I might try and get that bit of metal off later. Somehow. Some hole. I haven't actually got a workbench. Not to worry. Hey, anyway, that's the air conditioner done. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed pulling that apart. It's a stress relief, really. <laughs> that's what I reckon. A good stress relief. If you are stressing your day, pull something apart. By all means, it's real invigorating. I tell you, I love doing it. I wouldn't do it otherwise. I just love pulling stuff apart. It's good. Makes me happy. <laughs> very, very happy. It puts a smile on my face. Oh, that was easy. That's the fan gone. Here yeah, I was going to finish it off. I'm still going. <laughs> because I love doing this stuff, you know. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Look at all that wire. Wow. Anyway, yes, I'll finish it off there, everyone. Better. Go and see what June's up to and see what she, how she's getting on in a day. She's up there at the gate. Ah, uh, flies. All good stripping stuff, that. Processing like that, that's the easy way. Hmm, I'll definitely have a look at that. Get that off there. It's only just held on there too. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, ha, sorry about that, wasting, wasting time here, wasting the internet of course. Um, yeah, I'll put that out. So I hope you like me pulling that apart and getting all of that out. Uh, that goes in here. Getting sidetracked now, what I'm doing. That'll go directly in here. I don't want it spilling and the fridge has got a seal on it so I'll put that in there. close the lid so if you like that this video don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one everyone see you all on the flip side